What's up climbing people? Beta Climbers has gone Euro trip. We're here in Portugal. I only wish you could see what you could just see what I look like because I feel like a total weirdo Gumby walking around with this thing. Basically, I have a Ronin uh, <laughs> RS3 gimbal, which is gonna keep all you people complaining about the stabilization at bay. And on this breezy day in Portugal, I have a wind mic, a road little mini shotgun mic so you shouldn't be hearing a bunch of wind noise so we're stepping it up a little bit we're stepping our game up a little bit which should uh should be good for the vlogging type of videos i come out with every once in a while so we're going to be here in portugal looking for some boulders and checking out the climbing gyms last night i partied hard <laughs> I don't know how hard I'll be able to send it today, but we're gonna find out. Let's go. Let's go check out a uh, local gym nearby and see what see what see what we get into. Well, looks like we're here. The little place in the back there. Uh, there's a little sign that says, "Oh well," it says this: "Murus, the climbing temple." I probably butchered that, but whatever. So what you see is what you get. Tiny little uh, boulder gym right here. The grading system is a color grading system, but it doesn't depend on the holds. It's more of a tag. So it goes up to purple, which is like V7, V8. So we're going to see if I could send the hardest climb in here on the wrong side of an overhang, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what they use here is actually liquid chalk which is my first experience with liquid chalk, liquid chalk and I can tell you right now I'm not a fan of it uh, basically they have no ventilation system here which is why it's hot as all hell but uh, that keeps down the chalk uh, so you're not breathing it in so just kind of put the stuff on your hands rub it around till what all that's left is just chalk doing a little some some warm-up sets on well they're kind of hardest grade which is a uh, purple this is probably V. I think the tag was V5 or something could have been I don't know felt like a V4 maybe um, like a nice little warm-up get the muscles going uh, some some cool little cool little movements there pretty fun uh, pretty fun Jim now here is a pretty cool set knee bar so we'll get the knee stuck in there with the leg that allows us to have kind of be weightless on the hands then we're going to hop over here, get on this side pole, and then get a left hand on a kind of a crimp, hop over to the right there. And what I like to do is try to get rests wherever I can. So at the top, it kind of fishes off on a tiny little crimper. And uh, we're going to need to just kind of lay back on this whole side thing to stay on this crimper and be super solid. Bam. Got it. Nice. Fun little set there. Okay, so this is how you cool down in this gym. <laughs> they got two fans. Just uh, blow it on yourself and uh, try to cool off. <laughs> so this, I think, is their, was their hardest set there. Uh, V7 grade. Um, just finishes off on tiny little crimps and then has a blocked off crimp. So you have to be kind of exact. And then the, the last move is like a like a sloper with a tiny little crimper on it too. Uh, pulling up in here didn't feel too good. A little desperate. Pop over there. Dead point that. Um, this volume was slippery, not really sandy. So we just gotta press hard on it. Get up here and capture the sin. Now uh, some guy was saying Ali, Ali, Ali. I don't know who Ali is. My name's Josh, but uh, I said Abigado and I, I moved on. Nice. Yeah, so I basically got this whole gym to myself. There's only one guy here who was crushing the hard stuff too. So this one, I just ran up to it and I jumped on it, which could be kind of fun sometimes. You don't know what you're going to get into as you go up higher. So you're kind of like on-sighting it, I guess. Uh, and I realized while I was in the middle there, what the hell am I going to do? And then I found out there's feet to the left. I was like, oh, okay, well, that makes things a lot easier. And then we hop over into here, and then we got like an upside-down like sloper thing. Uh, so there, finish that thing off. Pretty cool little set. The holds are really high quality, I'll say that. 
this is a pretty cool little gym uh, and here's some more liquid chalk which I find to be really weird and uh, oh look at that real compy uh, dynamic moves I like that style I like jumping around it's fun especially when we got mats I don't know if volumes were on at this gym but I guess now they are and the sweat is starting to get to me now it's starting to get real hot and this this right here this set is a real good example of not reading a route correctly at all I'm thinking you have to do some kind of crazy dynamic jump up and kind of flag that top left pimple looking thing and also like press down on that volume and kind of just catch yourself in some really cool style but the the tag said v4 so I'm like man this thing is really hard for v4 so I gave that about 20 tries and now you can see my back is completely soaked and has dripped down to my ass so guys how do you stop the swamp ass I'd like to know what's the beta on stopping the swamp ass anyway I realized that there's a hold right here to the right that was completely hidden to me and then you just jump up grab that and then you fit it I was pretty pissed off about that but wasted a lot of energy <laughs> trying to jump up there so that's that okay final thoughts and conclusion first of all a little bit off topic I'm shooting this on an iPhone 13 I could shoot 4k 24 frames, 30 frames, or 60 frames per second. That is crazy. My $10,000 camera setup that I bought 2017 when I got into photography, 1DX Mark II with a 2.8, 30, 35 millimeter to, what was it, 60 or something? No, 35 millimeter to 15 millimeter camera lens, okay? which was like another three grand. That thing, that whole setup weighs probably like 10 pounds. This camera is shooting better than that thing. The age of DSLRs and mirrorless camera, cameras are dead. It was great learning how to do your aperture and your shutter speed and your ISO and everything. You could just learn all that on YouTube or just buy a cheap camera and learn all that. It's just insane to me. If I, I need a whole separate bag for that camera and it's gonna and I have to worry about it getting broken or stolen. This phone is with me all day long. I drop it sometimes. I tie a string around it so I don't do that. But it's just my mind is just it's blown. Basically all I gotta do is worry about stabilization. And I have this stabilizer which is just overkill. They sell smaller gimbals uh, for just a phone, but this is a really big phone. So you need kind of a bigger gimbal. Plus, when you go to set up a mic on it, like a shotgun mic like I have here, it doesn't really, it can't really handle it. So I just went all in. I bought a bigger, the biggest kind of thing I could get. Well, not the biggest thing I could get. You could get those giant hand things, which is what I'd probably need, like a giant whole body harness for the size camera I have that I still use in my studio now. But anyway, I'm mind blown at the quality. As, as these phones progress, I mean, the only thing you're missing is like lenses, and I they probably they have like snap-on lenses you can put on these things now. So it's a different world. Anyway, if you're in Porto, that gym is definitely worth a visit. Uh, Portuguese culture is <laughs> eat, and then uh, go find a place to eat again. <laughs> They go find a place to eat again. So I'm a bit jet, jet lagged and uh, stuffed. And so I, as you can tell, if you've ever seen me climb, I'm a little less springy in that video. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, it was fun. So yep, if you're in Porto, check that out. I'll be heading down to Sintra. I want to do some, I want to find some outdoor boulders. I want to see what the outdoor boulder scene is like. Uh, the only outdoor climbing that I found, I traveled the top and south of Portugal before and really only thing I found that was really worth my time was in Sagres which is south Portugal they have like sea cliffs but now I'm trying to check out what the bouldering is like so I'm going to check out some boulders and I hear rumor that there's some stuff in Sintra so I'm going to check that out if you're excited for that like comment subscribe and I will if it's worth my time it's worth your time it's worth the time for everybody I'll film it and 
uh, send it your way and review it or something. I don't know. Uh, outdoor Boulder Review, I guess. I, I don't know what the hell I'd call it. But uh, I guess that's, that's it. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, I, the only other thing I could say is that gym just needs some ventilation because liquid chalk, I'm not a fan. It'll probably just destroy your hands over time, having them dry out chemically. Nah, I don't dig it. So let me know what you think about that. Josh Perry, climbing out here. Like, comment, subscribe. Ugh.